Hello, viewers, and welcome back to Pikmin 4. This time, it is the full game, not just the demo. Super exciting stuff. Now, I have been playing on my own, and I haven't beat the game yet, but I can't resist recording more of this Let's Play, even though I haven't finished the game myself yet. Um, but I'm enjoying it. I think it's great. Uh... I want to say it's my favorite so far. Oh, I got five bomb rocks for completing the demo version. Nice. But yeah, I want to say it's my favorite Pikmin game so far, but it's like I've had literal decades to think about the rest, and this has only been here for a couple days, so I don't want to jump the gun on anything. But it does look like we have some updates, so let's go ahead and talk with some of these civilians here. Kingsley. It's been intense, but I can't just give up completely. I still want to leave this planet more flowery than it was when I got here. That's where you come in. You've got to help me bloom a whole lot of Pikmin flowers. Let's fill this world with blossoms. Boy. What's in it for you? Well, do this for me, and I'll give you my glorious stone collection. What do you say? We got a deal. Now, what he means by glorious stone collection, I thought it would be like a cool thing. It's just material. But that's fine. I mean, material's helpful in a practical sense. It's just not the coolest reward. We have Dingo here. Let's talk with him. You can all relax now. Dingo's back. I don't know how the Rescue Corps made it this long without me. Guess I'll find out soon enough, since the captain's making me rest up a bit before I get back into action. This guy's really cocky. And it's not, uh... It doesn't have much reason to be. Alright. Ah, oh, the leaflings. Yeah. We've got a little pandemic going on here with people being turned into weird Pikmin hybrids. It's so weird, dude. I love it. I never in a million years would have thought this would happen. <laughs> Let's see what's in the lab. we got something new here. You've created a new item for us, Russ. Very nice. I developed a prototype with the materials I had on hand. You have to come see it for yourself. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Oh. Kihi, let's get started. Alright, so he's got an idle counter. I feel like that's a necessity. It tells you how many Pikmin are not working in the bottom right. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll buy that. I don't think we need a headlamp yet. Oh, maybe we do, though. Yeah, I'll get the headlamp. Items. Uh, we got a free bomb rock because it's a prototype. That makes six that we have now. As you can see in the footage there, the captains throw them, which is very nice. You don't have to rely on the Pikmin AI to handle it. We have an ice blast, same as a bomb rock, except it freezes the enemies. Come back and see me if there's anything else you need. Yeah, sure thing, buddy. Got some sprouts to pluck. Don't mind if I do. The yellow Pikmin are newer, so I'll go ahead and cultivate a few of them. I do want to see if we can train Ochi, though. We have some pup drive to spend. That's the spirit. Let's get started, then. Uh, I have four to spend. What do I want to spend it on, though? I I'll tell you right now, I'm never going to spend it on healing, because I feel like... Ochi's never low on health, so, like, what's the point? Um, hmm. Let's do the rush level two. I do like rushing, I've learned. Um, so I'm always gonna be happy to get more of those. You put everything you had into that training. What a good boy, Ochi. It's so cute. I love the whole dog aspect. Look at Colin's stance there. <laughs> Who's he think he is? <laughs> no slacking. All right, sure. Of course, no slacking. Why would I slack? All right, once we pluck these Pikmin, we'll go ahead and venture out into the world, I guess. Start this day for real. Oh, but wait! Dingo has something else to say. Okay, Tenderfoot, let's see what you're made of. Eh, don't give me that look. You can handle some extra credit work. Check out every inch of this planet until you've explored each area 100%. Alright, another side mission. I mean, we were going to do that anyway with or without his mission, so... 
If you're not sure what you need to do next, you can always check your missions for some ideas. Yeah, no worries, hey. dude. Which area would you like to explore? Let's see. Oh, man. Well, we have unlocked the second area in the game after the Sun Speckled Terrace. We've got the Blossoming Arcadia. Yeah, let's go there. Why not? We haven't finished the first area, but we can always return whenever we want. Bye, everybody. Once again, I'm doing all the work. I don't quite understand that aspect. I think it's because, I think the reason in game is that o I I'm the only one that Ochi will listen to. Inexplicably. But, yeah, I don't know. Not complaining. Blossoming Arcadia, very nice. Dandori. If we get to 4,000 sparkling, we'll unlock the third area. I wonder if I'll be able to get there today. And we have a baby Snagrit! Aw, oh, a couple of them. We're in some kind of playground, it looks like. We have cherry blossoms. Aw, oh, this game's so pretty. Well, here we are in a new area. I knew they were gonna call me. <laughs> Palm, come in, over. Ochi has never really liked getting wet, but I've been working on it with him. I've been working on it with him in the bathtub aboard the SS Shepherd. Last night he had a big breakthrough. Your rescue pup can swim. Yes, okay, I've been waiting for this. Check this out. <laughs> Now he's over his dislike of water, he can jump in and use Doggy Paddle to swim through any water obstacle. Yes, and all the Pikmin can ride with us. Awesome. Very handy. I'll go ahead and hop on him now and call out some Pikmin. Try to use bombs on tough creatures. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, what do I want, though? Oh man, I guess like this. No, actually, I'll bring 10 reds and 20 yellows. I think that's more effective, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, where do I want to go first? Oh, well, immediately I already see some treasure over here. Let's take out this Snagret. They are dangerous, so unfortunately I do have to kill them. I know, it's... It's a little bit sad. There's a straight-up a dead bird on our screen right now, but... <laughs> Oh, what? I want those to be yellow. That's okay. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I missed the butterfly! No! Okay. Alright. I want some yellows! No! That's okay. Now I've got some yellows. Got some material for killing that, uh, spectral lid. Very nice. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually going to assign my shortcuts. I have a layout that I think is best. So up is going to be, uh, let's see, disband. I do like that. So I can just travel with any color Pikmin I want at a moment's notice. Survey drone is going to be switch. So I can switch to Ochi whenever I want. Right? What did I make right? Oh, I made right something I don't even have yet, interestingly enough. Um, so I guess that can just be blank for now. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And then down is the Ultra Spicy Spray. Hell yes. And I can assign something to this too, but I've noticed that I accidentally click the left stick when I don't want to, so I'm gonna leave that blank as well. Alright. 
Ah, oh, we have Skitter Leaf. The Skitter Leafs are pretty cool in this game because you can't lock onto them until they make themselves clear. So they really are a bit more surprising. Now the yellow spectral lids, they give you nectar, which is pretty nice. Alright guys, I, I there's a specific color I want carrying this stuff, alright? <laughs> Alright, let's get everybody on this. Uh, it's gonna take 40. We only had 30 just then, but that's alright. Just more reason for us to want to get more Flarlick. So we can bring out more Pikmin at a time. Let's grab these guys here, actually. They can help finish with the rest. Although, they probably won't make it back in time. Yeah, no, the others are already on it. That's okay. That's fine. Oh, she placed the clay. Alright, good boy. I'll reunite with Palm and let's go on up here. There's a little hole here. We can go ahead and see what's in there. Oh, she can go and help as well. Very cute. We can come up here. There's another bridge to build. And... The mysterious leafling is back. It's that leafling. Be careful. That could be the one who attacked Dingo. Yeah, that's definitely them. Which means that could be Bernard on the ground next to them. Oh, we need Bernard. He is our pilot after all. And there they go, kidnapping. Whoever it is, we can't let them get turned into a leafling. Follow them. Yeah, that's my plan. I don't know if I'll do it right away. Looks like there's material in that anthill? Yes, okay. I call it an anthill, but it's not really an anthill. Well, I guess I can go ahead and, uh... I guess I can go ahead and enter that cave right now and do some battle with the mysterious leafling. We've got time, I think. Whoops. Of course, the Pikmin aren't going to follow, as usual. But we'll find our own Pikmin down there, so it's okay. Battle in a box. Dendori level 2. Okay, that's going to be a little bit spicier. That's okay, nothing we can't handle. So you have come again. Those who do not embrace Dendori cannot survive this planet. But if they grow the leaves, we can return them to life. Okay. I'll determine if you have the strength to save them with the Dendori battle. But this time, there will be one more rule. So now we have bonus finds. One must be ready to change tactics at a moment's notice. This round, an object or creature's value can increase for a brief window. These higher values make them bonus finds. Yes! So some things will become bonus finds and they're worth double. When you transport and collect the bonus finds, you can earn double the points. Do you think you can out Dan Dory B? I absolutely think so. Oh, uh, we have White Pikmin this- er, not White Pikmin. Ice Pikmin. I was expecting that. I thought we were just gonna get reds. Going to go all out. Okay, sure, buddy. Oh, this is dangerous! Oh, uh, well, I lost a guy. <laughs> That's okay, it's not the worst. It did freeze him. Okay, I didn't want to shatter him because then we couldn't collect him. That's why I did that. Very nice. We'll, uh, we'll have Ochi carry this guy. We'll get the Sunseed Berry, because that is worth double. You can tell by the little crown icon above it. I'm glad they let you, uh... I'm glad they show that, so you don't have to look at the middle of the screen every time. Look, you collected a bonus find. Yes, I did, Colin. Thank you for noticing. Y'all can carry that. I think I'll go ahead and take this guy out. This is going to be a little bit difficult, though. 
I'll have OG attack. Alright guys, this is getting dangerous. This is getting dangerous. Oh no! No! I'm not doing so hot. The ice pick and our weaker, that's why. If I had the uh if I had the red Pikmin, this would be a lot easier. Luckily, he didn't shatter, so that's very good. Ochi, you can dig this up, because you're good at digging. You have one Pikmin left, so he can take that pellet. I am winning, so I do feel good about that. Oh man, I guess you guys can work on this wall here. And we have a new bonus find, the uh... The Dwarf Ball Borb. Sunseed Berries are still bonus, though, so I'll go ahead and grab this. Get that guy since he's a bonus now. Put the rest on there to help that go faster. I'll return to base over here. Oh no, it looks like the Leafling found a bonus find. He's not collecting it, though. Maybe I can steal it if I'm fast enough. I would like to get this wall down as soon as possible. There we go, help them out a bit. Get this guy down here. I'll put the rest of you on here, I think. Why are you guys going that way? You're crazy! Okay, they went away. I didn't really want them to. That's okay, though. Oh, exactly five, so let's put them up there. Ochi's back to base. Perfect. We can hop on him. Man, this Sunsea Berry keeps spawning. Very nice. Let's take this guy out. Alright, he is starting to steal our spoils, though. Not sure I like that. Ochi, get that! Stop them from collecting the stuff. Yeah, we're stealing it! That's what I'm talking about. We can't let the Leafling take anything. Oh, but Ochi's being attacked now. That's not good. And also, a recording device is running low on battery. Just gonna plug it in real quick. Perfect. And we're back. Back in action. Uh, I am low on Pikmin though, which is rough. Let's get back to the base. Yeah, this will help. This will help for sure. They're getting that insect condo, which is unfortunate, but... That's what apples are called, by the way, in this game. <laughs> Now, I don't know if I can collect these, but I can at least stop him from collecting them, which is a help. You know, points he doesn't get are basically points I get, right? We'll put that there to stop it. Um... Ochi, you can get the Sunsea Berry. I don't think you'll get back in time. In fact, I know you won't, but... You know, it's alright. It's okay. So I did win by a landslide, but I don't think I won by enough to earn platinum. I got gold at least, though. I won by at least 60 points. Very nice. I think you need to win by 100 to get platinum, which is crazy. Again, you have shown mastery in the art of Dandori. I leave the rest to you. Thank you. I guess. Off they go. Come on. Off they go again. Thankfully to recover the castaway safe and sound. Impressive victory. Yes, I would say so. I would say so, for sure. It's so weird. <laughs> Pikmin's always been weird, though, which is part of his charm.
I'm glad they don't shy away from it, honestly. All right. Now, it should ask me what Pikmin I want. Transport the castaway to the SS Beagle ASAP, Pominochi. You got it. Ha, ah, wow. Oh, I want red Pikmin. I think I'll just have uh, Ochi carry him back. And I can have the rest of these Pikmin work on this bridge. I have an excess, so I'll go ahead and explore this way, I think. Hmm. Do I want to cross the bridge or go over here? I guess I'll go over here. Okay, a little bit stronger than I expected, actually. That's okay. Maybe I'll just ignore this guy for now and get this, uh, ring pop. I don't think he poses a threat to them. Right? He's not catching up, is he? No, I think he's... I think it's too fast for him. Phew! That's good. So while they're carrying that, I'll go across this first bridge we built. And we got the castaway. Perfect. Maybe Russ will have more success getting their ID information. Nope. Still unreadable. Huh? Does this mean that when someone becomes a leafling, their biometric authentication data becomes unreadable? Look at his glasses falling off. If even science is unable to solve this problem, then I'm afraid I'm at a loss. Yeah, it's very strange. Not sure what we'll be able to do. Ochi, you can actually stay here. Um, I think you're more useful over there anyway. That's cool that I missed the, um, the spectral lid. Oh, awesome. <laughs> All right, you can escape me for now. So the ring pops back, so I'm going to go ahead and call the base over. Boom. See how instant that is? It's awesome. I love it so much. Get up right here. All right. We have a joust mite here. You can remember those from Pikmin 3. Wait for it to pop up before you rush it. Thank goodness his attack missed. I'm not gonna fight those baby snaggards, uh with only three Pikmin. That doesn't sound like a good idea. You can help with this. You can also help carry it, because it's not going to be enough. Now, I think I'm going to do something kind of weird here. I think I'm just going to exchange... Wait a minute, where the fuck? Wait. Oh, of course, the Pikmin on the bridge. Duh. Okay, oh damn, you know what? Um... Guess I'll have Palm go back to the bridge and Ochi can continue this way. He can attack some enemies on his own with the rush. So sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it looks like they take one rush and then a couple of chomps to finish the job. Perfect. Ochi, you can even carry these for us. Alright, I'm just about reunited with the Pikmin here. I like it, very nice. It's almost noon, so let's see if we can pick up the pace here a little bit. Okay, they're gonna push that. Very good, Ochi. Good boy. Let's carry this back as well. come down here. There's something buried in the ground here. We'll have the yellows go on that since they're so good at digging. And here we have an ice gate. Only the ice pickman can destroy that, of course. They're carrying back that. What is that? 
that a kumquat? I think it's a kumquat. There's a little dungeon here. Wow, okay. Um, maybe we can go in that once this gate is destroyed. Now, they're going to be taking that kumquat down this way. I don't think there's room for me to help them. Yeah, it's full. That's okay. They made it pretty, pretty quickly. I'll take these yellow Pikmin to, to destroy this electric gate over here. I think that'll be a good use of my time. And you know what? Let's power them up. I've noticed in this game the ultra spicy spray is actually very common, so uh, you don't have to worry about wasting them. I don't have enough strength to carry this back, I don't believe. Oh, I can't because it's in water anyway. Okay, interesting. Get up the ledge, OG. Now, I noticed the spicy spray also uh, affects all Pikmin on the field, not just the ones in your squad, which is awesome. Uh, okay, new enemy up here. He's gonna die before we can tell what he does, though. <laughs> or is he? Run! Yeah, he vacuums up Pikmin. And he doesn't just vacuum up Pikmin, he vacuums up collectibles, which is, like, insane. We have a swooping stitch bug here. Let's take him out. Perfect. Boom. That guy gave me a jump scare the first time I. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, this guy's actually tougher than I remember. Please freeze him. I said, please freeze him. That's scary, man. This guy's no joke. That is the new creeping chrysanth chrysanthemum. Not to be trifled with, as you can tell. Man, we have a we have a few options for dungeons moving forward. I wonder what the best one to start with would be. Maybe this one. Ochi can help with that. I won't carry these back yet until uh, we move the base over here. But I'm not going to move the base because they're transporting materials now. That won't be very effective. That's the last of it. Nice. Alright, I'll move it now. Hey guys, what's up? Kill the spectral in. Okay. Now something interesting I noticed, enemies never respawn in this game. Except the ones underground. We're making up for the Pikmin we lost to the uh the creeping chrysanthemum. Anyways, now that the space is closer, we can collect these things. Not a problem. And we can even stick some people on this. They're gonna build something here. We'll figure out soon enough what it is. No, Ochi, do not get the burgeoning spider work. Get this guy. I don't know his name. Imagine that, me not knowing the name of an enemy. I don't know, man. He's too new. So it looks like this is about to be completed. We have a clay valve. Now what we can do with this is we can turn it. They're already working on it. Perfect. And once you turn it far enough, it'll shut down the sprinkler system. Perfect. Good work. You stopped the water. So now we can actually, uh, you know, traverse that area without the Pikmin having to worry about drowning. 
They're so small, a sprinkler can <laughs> drown them. Let's kill this Wallywog with the charge. Almost didn't make it. Now this is gonna be very heavy, but with the help of Ochi, we might be able to carry it back. Just enough. Just enough. The max Pikmin, 40, plus Ochi, which is 10, adds up to 50, very nice. We have a Wayward Moon here, I think it's called. Very nice. Let's kill this Wally Wog while we're at it. Just so we don't have to worry about him in the future. The, the Ice Pikmin can make whatever Pikmin they want. They're gonna make Red Pikmin, okay. Let's get this while we're here. I think we're being pretty effective. Day's almost over. I do want to enter a cave before it ends completely. Found a bomb rock in there, which is surprising. What's the nearest cave? I guess the one up this little slope. Do onion produce different Pikmin? Yeah, so onion color determines Pikmin type. Yeah, Colin's confused because the ice Pikmin carried it back, but it made red Pikmin. But that's because we don't have an ice onion, sadly. Here we have Drafty Gallery. Beneath the passage, all I can see is an interminable darkness. I tossed a pebble into the abyss, but I never heard it hit the ground. I must proceed with caution here. I don't want any Pikmin accidentally thrown to their demise, let alone shaken off by some creature. Yeah, that would be very bad. I'll take 10 reds, 10 ice, and 20 yellows. And down we go. Now, time passes one-sixth as fast underground, but... Nighttime will never come when you're underground, so we're basically making the most out of our time here if we jump in right before nighttime. Drafty Gallery. Now this looks just like a Pikmin 2 sublevel, which is very nice. The rusty gulch sublevel, to be specific. Let's charge that wall, make things fast. Which you can transport some of this stuff, very nice. Uh, actually, you can get back, Ochi. I gotta be careful not to launch my Pikmin into the abyss here. Oh! It almost happened! Damn! It's okay. We're all good. We're all good. Let's get this guy next. Very nice. I need three Pikmin to carry that, uh, glow stick ring. It's cute. Got a puzzle piece here. Let's knock that down with Ochi. That might be it for the sub-level. Oh no, there's something up here. Let's go ahead and check that out for sure. 3,500 sparkly and very nice. We have a spouse alert, aka a jingle bell. That looks like it's it. I'll go ahead and make my way toward the exit then. And that's it. Very nice. Simple floor. They're simple towards the beginning, which is nice. 25% down, so there's probably four floors. Unless the treasure's not evenly spread. Which is very possible. Dun, dun, dun. All right, what have we got here? I wonder which way I should go first. Let's go this way first, since we have all our Pikmin. Breaking this wall will be pretty quick. Very nice. Ochi helps. I feel like that wall was more durable than the last one. Don't throw them off! Okay. Ooh, that was scary. 
For a second there, I thought it was possible. Let's get the reds on that. Destroy the fire. We have a nine ball here. I wonder if we'll find an eight ball at some point. I almost stepped off the ledge there. Damn, that's scary. I'll bring Palm back to the base. Oh, she can help here. Very nice, very nice. And look at what we have here. I can't believe a flower that big is blooming underground. I believe it's called a candy pop bud. When you throw a Pikmin into it, they're transformed into a Pikmin that matches the color of the flower. Unbelievable. They can even change color? Pikmin are the strangest creatures. Anyways, this is a cyan candy pop bud. This will give us more ice Pikmin, which is very appreciated since we can't make more ourselves. We don't have their onion after all. Um, Ochi cannot pluck, so we'll leave this for Palm. They can start carrying that uh, pile of gold nuggets. We'll switch back over. And maybe I'll go this way. Maybe I'll meet in the middle, you know? Okay, I want him to face a less dangerous direction. Got some fire, that's okay. They can handle that. They can handle that. We only have red picking left over, so we can just take these out. Pretty nice. I guess I do want to pluck the Pikmin here. I'm also going to command Ochi to go back to the base, just so he can immediately pick up those things. Those things? <laughs> those Pikmin that are transporting things back. We have one of these things. Uh, oh shit! We reached 4,000. I was wondering if we would hit that today. Fantastic, we accomplished our goal. With so much energy collected, we can really expand the radar search area. Basically, we just unlocked the third area, which is nice. Um, we have a couple of... Sure, let's see where this one goes. It's probably up here, I guess. Cute. While we're here, I can have Ochi move to the other one. Just to be effective with our time. You guys can drink up there. Let's hop on here. Drop these guys there. Switch to Ochi. And see where this leads. Ah, it just leads back to base. Oh well. We can run to the exit with Ochi at least. Save some time that way. That should be the last treasure. I don't know where another one could be if it isn't. Perfect, all done. I don't know, man, this, it's just so satisfying. The series has always been satisfying, but I think they really nailed it with this game. With this installment in particular, just the multitasking and the collecting. And it's awesome that Ochi and the captain have different abilities, so it really makes you think about who you send where, you know? Let's do that. Send the rest of you over here. It's right next to the base, so it should take like two seconds. They can start on unclogging this, uh... I don't even know what you would call this. Like a wind geyser? I don't fucking know. Awesome, thank you guys. And this bridge is about to finish. Very nice, and that just leads to the exit, so we'll go ahead and go here with our whole squad. We have a Joust Might, not a problem. If you attack from the front, Ochi launches them behind. Ochi almost fell into the abyss there. That's kind of terrifying. Let's 
get that nectar. Let's also move our base here. There's no reason to keep it where it was. The reds can take that out. We can try to take this out. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they froze him just in time. Actually, no, I'm scared it's gonna unfreeze and launch them. Oh, they all could have died just then. That was terrifying. That's cool that I missed the charge. <laughs> Alright. That really scared me. I, almost everybody went overboard there. That would not have been fun. Like at all. I hear Pippin fighting. Yeah, there's some wild Pippin up here. Let's help them out. Very nice. Got even more Ice Pikmin from that. And sure, you guys can carry that back. Why not? The way back is safe, because the Reds took out that geyser. Oh my god! It was it, it locked on, and then it wasn't locked on. I'm going to throw very slowly. Just to make sure I don't fuck this up. Oh god. You guys are going to have to hang there because I'm I'm <laughs> I don't have enough Pikmin. I would have if they didn't die. Dude, that's so sad. That's like actually so sad. Go back and watch that. It was locked onto the bar and then it wasn't. And then I threw Pikmin off. That sucks. Just gotta be more careful. Dude, think about how scared these Pikmin are right now, by the way. Hanging off for dear life while they wait for me. Alright. It's a little nerve wracking, but we're good. You gonna carry it down here? Yeah, okay. Toy train. Pretty nice. What do we have up here? Uh, I can't really tell what that is. Is this treasure from a past civilization? I don't know what that is. A tape measure or something? What is this? I don't even know what I just destroyed. Oh, it's like a stopwatch of some sort. Cover that. Uh... Oh, this is like a little shortcut. You can crush this bag down, make a shortcut. I wonder if they'll change direction. Nah, I think they went far enough that they're... Yeah, they were closer, going the other way. Oh well. Oh, and if I go here, I can get these uh, Ice Pikmin in the ground. Very nice. Well, that is all the treasure here. So let's just instantly make our way back. Good stuff. As scary as these types of dungeons are, where you can throw Pikmin overboard, they are pretty cool aesthetically, so I do appreciate them. Drafty Gallery. Final sub level. Shouldn't be too bad. What do we have? Oh shit. We have a puffy blowhog, which. Doesn't seem dangerous until you realize he can blow all our Pikmin off the edge. Let's start by freezing him, hopefully. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice. Oh, he stayed down for a while. Damn. Very easy. Not hard at all. And there you actually saw a unique property of the Ice Pikmin. If you freeze a flying enemy, they'll shatter when they land. So that's pretty cool. Alright guys, drink up. Drink up. Of have Ochi carry that. Dude, there's some Ice Pikmin chilling up here. 
Hey guys! Got some nectar for you. Drink up. That's cute. Is there treasure here besides this castaway? Well, let's check the ID card. We found Francois from home planet Uji. For years, this scholar has been working to achieve his lifelong dream, reaching mutual understanding with plant life. Oh, he's going to love the Pikmin then. The research task force. I had no idea there were researchers stranded here too. Dude, everyone and their mother is stranded here. Oh, there's this. Get going. Oh, gee, you can help too. If you can. I don't know if you can find a spot. No, he can't. So Ochi just drank nectar there, because it actually heals him. I guess he was damaged in the first place. And that is everything. 100% completed this dungeon and this day, I believe. If I understand how this game works, there should be 10 seconds left when we come up above ground. That's the latest they allow time to, to transfer over. Francois. Dude, I love it. Sphere of family, middle management tank car, internal clock measurer, back at the beginning track, tandem trainer, sphere of support, the spouse alert, that was from Pikmin 2, that's how I knew that. Uh, memory fragment top, probably? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I mean, it could be the bottom, right? And Hoop of Fortune, very nice. All right, we made a lot of progress today. I like it. I don't think we'll be able to do anything else today with 10 seconds remaining, but... I mean, we'll see. Maybe we can destroy a wall a little bit or, or something. Kill an enemy or two. My dog's barking. I don't know if you guys heard that. I should probably go cuddle her after this uh, video. Oh yeah, the sun is setting. You can tell already. I can break these pots. That's gonna be what I do. <laughs> That's all I can do. Oh man. I can kill this enemy. Let's do it. Let's do it! Yeah! I can kill this enemy too! No, I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that. I'm not crazy. I'm not insane, dude. Very fruitful day. I'm very happy with it. I do wish this game had the, uh, the thing Pikmin 2 had, where depending on how well you did in the day, the more triumphant the end of day song is. I thought that was a nice touch in Pikmin 2. Art of Dandori. I wonder if we completed any side missions. We might have, because we did blossom a lot of Pikmin. That one guy, Kingsley, wanted us to blossom Pikmin, so I'm sure we made progress on that, if not completed it. By the way, most of the people we rescue do have side missions for us, which is awesome. They actually serve a purpose. I'm back. We got a lot of sparkling. Oh yeah. That is what I'm talking about. We further expanded the radar range. Perfect. We need to gather even more sparkling. Okay. Energy replenishment complete. Now let's switch on the radar. I wish we could see it inside the SS Shepherd. Like we could see inside the SS Drake. Once again, we've detected more SOS signals in an unexplored area. I'm glad to hear our search radius has increased. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get out there and find our missing rescue officers and Captain Olimar. I agree. 
We rescued Francois and another Leafling. Damn, what are we gonna do with all these Leaflings? We have like three or four now? I'm curious if I was right about the cantaloupe being named Wayward Moon. Yes, I was. Awesome. Very nice. We explored over a quarter of the new area already. Nice. I like it. Hello? By the way, Palm, if you press minus and open shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to I literally did that this episode. Really? Can you assign the rescue journal to one of those? Of course. And then you can reference it whenever you need some quick advice. You can even assign actions like disband or select items at the push of a button. Setting up shortcuts seems like a great way to improve your Dandori practice. Speaking of improvements, Colin, it would be more efficient if you shared such helpful information a lot sooner. <laughs> I love that. It's passive aggressive. So good. Oh, we have so many new. Oh my god, we have so many new side missions. It's all the ones we've been hearing about, though, talking to people. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video for day number six. Thank you for watching.